Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a while since I had an update for you. But I just wanted to let everybody know that coming up very shortly, I have a battle report for Battle Group Overlord. Um, a pretty good set of rolls. Uh, it's going to be 500 points a side. And what a scenario it is. I think it's the second scenario in the rule book. Uh, flanking attack. Yeah, that's the next scenario. Uh, 500 points is going to be a German Panzer Division force going against the U.S. Armored Division force. And again, it's a little look at the terrain. Got some thick forest along the road here, an old dirt road. Got a main little thoroughfare up there uh, with some buildings on the sides and some fields. Up here is mostly hills, broken ground. Uh, down there we've got more uh, little pine forest and more buildings, a little village by the main road. So I don't know where the deployment zones are yet or where the objectives are. I think there's like three plus objectives laid out on the table. And the forces deploy on opposite corners of the table. And there will be reinforcements coming on uh, the remaining two corners of the table. Uh, and who goes first, who deploys first, and so on is based on reconnaissance forces. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, that's a little update for you and what to expect. Uh, I think this will be like my third actual game of Battle Group. Excellent set of rules. I love it. Uh, it's pretty much my new go-to set of World War II rules. Flames of War taking second place. Yes, I know. My Flames of War madness. Uh, but yeah, it is that good. Okay, folks. So I guess I'll see you guys later and look forward to that battle report. And I'll leave you with a few close-ups of the terrain. See what's going on here. Got some walls there. Lots of buildings. There's that big forested area. And lots of hills. So, yeah, folks. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned. Hey, we just finished the initial stages of deployment. We're all set up. Let's see what we got. Now, I marked the objectives with red dice. You can see them. There's one there. And there's one up in the center of the woods, a downed plane. There's one over here. And then there's this over here and this over here. These are tiger tanks blown up. They're going to be objectives in this game. Uh, but those are the five objectives. Uh, the Germans have more recon units, four. The Americans have two, so they got an advantage there. They chose to deploy on that corner up there, or unfortunately they've only got one unit to deploy, which is going to be a Panzer IV. The Americans get the opposite corner, and you can see their initial forces. They got three squads of uh, infantry and a Shermie uh, coming onto the board. Uh, Here's the recon forces. Germans took this one. Uh, they get three uh, 250 slash nines and a one, I think, right here with a squad of Panzer Grenadiers in there. They're scouts. So they got four units in all up here. And the Americans are deploying their recon units up there, which is two M20s. Uh, I don't know if you could see this, but they're, they're up there by that field right in there. You can see them there, right there. It looks like they're going to try and hit up to the first objective there by that burning set of ruins. Ah, uh, no smart markers there. Smoke markers there in the buildings are pretty much there just for looks. I mean, troops can go in and out of them as normal. They're just there for looks. Uh, so that's the initial setup. We're going to go into turn one and uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go to turn one. Germans are probably going to get that. We'll see. Uh, okay, folks, stay tuned for turn one. Finish turn one. Germans had the first uh, go at it. Uh, they had more recon. And let's see, first thing they did was down here. That's where the recon deployment zone was. Uh, they basically moved their three uh, 250s along that road. They secured that objective. There's a 250 here. There's a 250 right there at the edge of the wood. So they secured that objective. And I marked their objectives as blue. Uh, they also secured this one in the woods. There's a recon vehicle in here somewhere on the road. And they moved up their Panzer IV a little bit. Nothing to shoot at. And that secured this objective right here. So they got three objectives. Uh, put three battle rating markers on the Americans, as you can see over there. 
And there is a fourth one, which ended up being drawn for being out scouted at the beginning of the battle, which is an airstrike. So the Americans got that coming up. Uh, and that's what they did so far. Uh, the Americans, in their turn, basically moved up and secured this objective over there in the ruins. I marked their objectives in white that they captured. Uh, and they did that with their two M20s. Let's see, where's the other one? I see the one. He's over there on the other side of that hedge. Uh, and the other one's behind that wall over here. So he's got his recon elements, securing objectives. And over here in their deployment corner, there's their three infantry squads moving up the hill, getting ready to do some battle. Maybe we can test this objective. Right there is their uh, command platoon, or command squad, rather. And the third one is over here, and they took that objective, marked in white. So that's what's going on for the Americans. Uh, the Germans took two markers, uh, one of which was an airstrike. So they're going to have a chance to do some bombing, too. So we'll see what happens. All right, so that was turn one. Turn two is coming up, folks. Turn they two. just finished their turn. They rolled up eight orders. Uh, they brought on some more reinforcements. Uh, I think they rolled a six for that, so they got six units coming on. Uh, they brought in the rest of their Panzer IV platoon, which was two more tanks. It's three in strength. Uh, they also had squads <coughs> of Panzer Grenadiers mounted on them, tank riders. Uh, which you could see them kind of deployed there. There's one up there on the other side. Uh, also, they brought in their FHQ, which is in that half track right there. Has a six band command team. Uh, uh, they disembarked some of their troops, a machine gun team and a uh, rifle squad in there, getting ready to head into the buildings, securing their objectives down here. Uh, that's the platoon HQ for the Panzer IVs, and they got a squad and a machine gun team on riding. Uh, the other tank, the first tank that came on, he drove all the way up here. Behind him is a half-track carrying a pack 40 who also raced up from this road here coming up into the woods area getting ready to face whatever troops tanks are coming up for the Americans uh, recon vehicles for the Germans they uh, pretty much got out of this open terrain pulled back into the road uh, these scouts got off of the half track and they're up in here and they went on uh, <clears throat> reserve fire Reaction fire. Uh, this scout vehicle up here, 250, moved up through the woods, got a nice position there, did some auto cannon fire on the infantry coming up the hill, as you can see from the smoke. Uh, couldn't, couldn't damage them, so that was ineffective. And that's it. So, Americans are up it's next. American turn two. Uh, and this was pretty uneventful for the Americans, too. They didn't really do much either. I think both sides are being a little cautious. I don't know. But uh, here's where most of the action seems to be taking place, up on this big hill. Uh, like I said before, the German scouts, those Panzer Grenadiers, we could see them, they're right there in the woods. <clears throat> they were on a uh, reaction fire, which they eventually opened up on these infantry coming forward, but uh, ineffective. Uh, the Americans advanced up the hill. As you can see, their command, their platoon command squad uh, for the infantry is up in that, right where that tent is. You can see around the smoke there. They put some bazooka fire on that uh, recon, German recon vehicle. Uh, missed. Uh, uh, yeah, that tank up there, that Sherman unloaded. Some machine guns and a, a mortar team somewhere. I don't know where they are. I think the mortar team's back there in the woods uh, and advanced up the hill. Uh, so the Americans are really pushing in this area right here, getting up that hill. They got a, I could see a machine gun team, two squads, a mortar team in the backwoods, and they got another Sherman over here, which took some machine gun fire on these scouts as well. Ineffective. Nothing pinned. Nothing. Uh, I think he was trying to hit this vehicle, but couldn't see him from where he moved, so he shot at the squad of scouts. And of course the Germans are moving up the road. Uh, he did bring on that Wolverine up there and his command in a jeep, which are in the woods. I don't know if you could see them. They're up in there, on the other side there. Somewhere in there. Uh, but 
yeah, he brought in his Wolverine. Uh, that's about it. He's still got his M20s over there in the village. They haven't really moved or done anything. Um, I think he had like nine on his orders roll for the turn. So that's that. Pretty uneventful. Nothing going on except here near the hill. A lot of shooting going on, but no bloodshed. Not yet. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens, folks. Turn three is coming up. The Germans are going to start doing some action. Folks, that's the end of turn three for the Germans and the Americans. <clears throat> uh, let me think here. Germans basically moved their rest of their forces onto the board. They got uh, a couple squads and machine gun team down here. They got all three of their tanks on the board. Uh, I think they came on in the second turn. Uh, this tank right here got pinned. He was on reaction fire, but... Uh, I think the Americans drew a confusion battle rating counter, and he failed his uh, experience test and became pinned. But he's still in reaction fire. Uh, it does me no, me no good in this case. So we can't cover that road. Uh, otherwise, there's not a lot going down here. Uh, the Americans did bring on their reinforcements over here. They got two Stuart tanks and a Sherman way up there in the corner, up behind that building. They didn't do anything with them this turn. Uh, that's about it. Over here in the, toward the hill, up in the middle, seems to be where a lot of action is, especially on the hill. Uh, the Germans, which I'm playing, they lost their uh, <clears throat> Grenadier Scout unit that was in here. They got wiped out by some machine gun fire, thanks to that tank and that uh, squad. Uh, actually, this 30 cal machine gun team, and they did that. Uh, the Americans, uh, this squad, in fact, is now pinned. Uh, uh, thanks to some fire from my, uh, well, this 250 recon vehicle, which is now destroyed, that uh, helped pin that squad. Uh, Americans are moving up that squad, his command squad, and down there in the field he has another squad, which is also pinned. So across the board there, the Americans have three Infantry squads in position, and two of them are pinned. Uh, he's got his command unit back there in the woods with a jeep. I think he uh, rallied one of these units, but that didn't do no good because they're pinned again. I think it was this squad. Uh, he's got his two Shermans whipping around the flank, and it's wide open here. So, so I don't know what's going to happen. There is a Panzer IV right here in the woods. Uh, right now it's the only thing holding on to this objective for the Germans. So the Americans kind of got to get rid of that tank. <clears throat> There's a Pack 40 in the woods with John Limbered. Uh, I think I tried to take some shots at his uh, Wolverine up there, but I couldn't spot him. Uh, and this Wolverine took out this uh, recon vehicle of the Germans up on the hill, so that's out. Uh, the Americans are at thir three counters over there, and the Germans are also at three battle rating counters. Uh, and I won't reveal what those are, but they'll probably be put up on the video. You'll see them somewhere on the video screen here. Uh, but that's the situation for turn three. All right, turn four coming up, folks. The Germans just completed their turn four. Let's see what they did. Uh, not much, really. They did move up their uh, infantry from the road up here. They're kind of heading towards the village. Uh... They did shift some of their infantry that was down here in the buildings up along the road and up towards the woods. Let me see if I could find them in there. So they do have a machine gun team in there now uh, supporting the tank. So they're both holding on to that objective there in the hall, on the hill. Uh, they got a squad there, grenadiers on the road, and another MG team heading up in that direction. Uh, the Pac-40, he took a shot at the M10. Across the field up there, missed, and he took he did some high explosive shells on that squad of infantry and did manage to pin them uh, in that field by the M10. Uh, over here, the Panzer IV in the woods. He opened up on those two squads in the hill and he managed to pin one. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Nothing else. Oh, down here, again, the Germans are moving up. These guys from the road in reserve, they're moving up into the village now. Uh, this tank failed a tactical coordination uh, attempt to get out of that pinning, so he's still pinned. 
uh, the Grenadier Platoon Command, which are up in this building, moved out up around that green tree, took a Panzerfaust shot at a M20 in that set of ruins up there and missed. And right there's the uh, other Panzer IV. That's the platoon commander in a position to make a move. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the Americans are up next, folks. Stay tuned. So that's the end of turn four for the Americans. Uh, next up is turn five. Let's see what happened. Americans only got like six orders this turn, which wasn't very good because they got a ton of stuff that they need to do. Uh, but they did manage to unpin two of their three squads. Uh, that one right there in the hill and the one down in the field, uh, which is good. They took out that Panzer IV that's sitting in the woods there, that big plume of smoke in the middle here. They took that out with a bazooka shot from the other uh, squad of infantry on the hill there. Uh, they swooped this Sherman around. He took some ineffective fire on the half-tracks there in front of him. Close range, no less, but nope, couldn't get him. So the situation here basically is it's still in control the Germans, that objective there. And this is why. Right here we got a machine gun team. And he just unloaded from one of those half-tracks in the previous uh, German's turn. So he's within distance. Uh, they have to get rid of him. Uh, what else did they do? They did manage to take out that Pack 40 in the woods there. Right there. And that was due to the machine gun fire coming from that building. Uh, those machine gunners, that's a 30 cal team in that house. They were originally riding that uh, M10 up there by the tree. They jumped off, got in the house, and took out that uh, Pack 40 team. Uh, and that's about it. Down here, uh, down by the building, the Panzer Grenadier uh, Command squad down there under the tree. During their turn, they used their Panzerfaust on an M20 over there. I think he's around those ruins. They missed, but return fire was pretty effective for the Americans, and they managed to pin and take out one of the Germans. So that little squad is pinned. And that was turn four for the Americans. So let's see what happens in turn five. And uh, Mel Connors, Germans have six, which is pretty crushing. Uh, and the Americans have five. So it's actually pretty close. Uh, okay, we'll see. It's going to come down to the next turn, I think. Things are going to happen. Oops, that's the end of German down. turn five. Uh, let's see what they did. Well, had a little heroic episode here. That uh, platoon commander, the Panzer IVs, back there, turned his turret. And shot all the way down here to take out the American platoon commander of their Shermans. Took him out. One shot. And I think the range was like 40 inches. So, good shooting. Uh, also, the German infantry continued to move into the woods. They've got about three squads in there now. Moved up their half-tracks off the road and up onto the edge of the woods as well to deal with these Americans. Uh, the result of that was they pinned two of the squads, the Americans, one over there in the field and the one over here in the edge of the hill here. They're pinned. Uh, what else did they do? They took a huge risk here, and this could this might cost them the battle, or it might not. Don't know yet. Uh, but this tank here, if you remember, has been pinned, and it was on reaction fire the whole time. Uh, took the chance, used the tactical coordination to unpin them. Well, they failed their experience test, so they stayed pinned for the whole German turn. Uh, however, at the end of the turn, took the rally, and... That unpinned him. Unfortunately, only a one was rolled to unpin units, and I have two units that are actually pinned, so only one was unpinned, and I chose this one. Uh, but the reason why that was such a risk and might cost the battle is that it cost me two of those markers, two of the battle rating markers. But it's not over yet, so we'll see. So evidently that tank is pretty important. We'll see. Uh, okay, let's go to American Turn 5. Hey, folks, that's the end of American Turn 5. And let's see what happened. Uh, the Americans really did some pushing in this turn. Uh, moved up their Sherman to the road there, no targets. Up here on the hill, they did capture the hill this turn. Uh, they took out the opposing 
Uh, I think the Germans had an infantry squad in there, plus they took out some half-tracks with some effective bazooka fire, uh, which got them the hill. So that was costly to the Germans, put them on the brink. Uh, but the loss of the half-tracks as well in the woods area here, due from bazooka fire, was a little bit too much, as you'll see in a second. Uh, in addition, that uh, M10 up there also caused some problems and took out a half-track as well. That one down here by the green dice. Uh, down here we had something interesting happen, which was pretty cool in the game. Uh, those Beyond Valor type of things, whatever it's called, I can't remember. But uh, <clears throat> Americans were moving up their stewards there, move the one up there on the edge of the woods, and uh, took uh, that command squad down to half strength, uh, took their morale test, and beyond the call of duty. So they passed all their tests, they got it, they shot a panzer fossed into that M20 that they've been trying to hit from the previous turn and they took it out. So that was their beyond the call of duty. That worked out pretty good. Uh, and that was it. I don't think the Americans did any more. Uh, no, that was pretty much it. But the thing was, that was the result right there, folks. And I think, I think the Germans taken two counters uh, in their turn, their last turn, just so they could rally or unpin that one tank was a big mistake. I think it cost them. So, yeah, that's the battle, my friends. And this was definitely an American victory. As soon as they took that hill, did some damage down there. Uh, well, actually, did all their damage up here on the hill. Everything was about this hill, I guess. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it was a really fun battle. I like how it just unfolds and flows naturally, like it would historically. Uh, tactically, I'd say the Germans took a little too many risks and made some stupid moves. I think uh, taking the two counters, uh, like I just mentioned, was a big mistake, especially when they never had a chance to do anything with it. You know, they did unpin that tank because of it, and it was on reaction fire. Unfortunately, there was nothing moving in its way to shoot at the whole time during the American turn, so it was useless. Uh, the Germans were definitely outnumbered. All the way down there in the village, they were just building up, let's see, they had a Sherman and a platoon of three Stuarts and two M20s down there near the ruins, protecting that one objective. Uh, they didn't do much the whole game. They just sat there being a threat, waiting for the Germans to come to them, uh, which the Germans never really did. Most of the fighting was up here. I think the Germans captured this early, but they really didn't reinforce it very well. More like piecemeal. And this is right next door to the main deployment zone of the Americans. So, the, yeah, they're going to rush and take that objective. And the Germans just did not defend it very well. We just did not get enough troops up there. Uh, the command rolls at the start of every turn, pretty even-handed. I mean, especially at the end, it got a little bit risky. Uh, people were rolling sixes when they needed to roll tens and, you know, that kind of thing. Just couldn't get everything the way you wanted to. Uh, that happened to the Germans uh, in the last turn. Uh, but it also happened to the Americans. Uh, Again, I got those little white poker chips on there to, uh, for the video's sake, so you know what the objectives are. It's a lot easier to see. So the Americans got one, two, three of the objectives. Germans originally had three, but then they ended the game with only two. And I was hoping to see some fighting in the buildings, but that never occurred. The Germans had their command team in this building here. Or their FHQ, actually. Uh, no artillery was called down. The Germans had it. I had it. The Americans had it. They never used it. Uh, they thought about it, but they were thinking about putting some fire down into that woods, but they never did. Uh, Panzer IV there. He's kind of heroic with that long-distance sniper shot on that Sherman. That was pretty nifty. Uh, yeah, it all came down to the hill. Um, yeah, folks, 
very good game. I highly recommend Battle Group. It's excellent. It's really got a nice ebb and flow to it. It's natural. It's not hard to play, not very complex, but it's very challenging. I know that. The battle rating system and morale is it's fantastic. Very well done. So, this is my first battle report in a long while. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to put some more up. Definitely a battle group. Uh, I'll be doing some Fall of the Reich as well as more Overlord scenarios as battle reports. Uh, okay, folks. Uh, I believe the final score was 32 for the Germans and 25 for the Americans. Uh, the Germans exceeded their battle rating by three points. And the Americans' battle rating was, I think, 36, 37, something like that. So they were getting close to 25. Well, actually, it's not really that close. But, okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed. A little bit more view of what's going on there. Intense fighting. All the battles I've played using my Pack 40 in there, they always run away. The crew always takes a couple losses and they end up running away. Can't take it. I think I'm not taking a Pack 40 anymore. I got like eight of the models. I could put down a couple of platoons of them, but not. Maybe that's why they run away so quick. They want their friends. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.